This tutorial is going to assume that you already have a player character and a scene in which you can move around that character. If not, go ahead and check out my other tutorials, they cover exactly this. First things first, we're going to want to include some new constants and variables, as with anything in programming. We're going to first declare our up constant, which just tells the game which way is up. Fairly self-explanatory. We're also going to want to include our gravity constant, which, or sorry, our gravity variable, which we'll be applying to the player at every frame to make sure that he's always falling, unless he's colliding with something. And we're also going to want to include our jump height variable. Make sure you include up in the motion function. And basically all that does is allow us to call the isOnFloor function, which we'll get into more detail later. Right here we're declaring a jump variable corresponding to UI up, which is basically just the up arrow key on your keyboard. Here we're gonna say, okay, so if the player is pressing that up arrow key, if they're pressing the jump variable, and they are on floor, then jump. And the reason we want to check to see if they're on the floor is so that you don't have double jumps in midair, unless that's something that you want for your game. But we don't in this case. So we're gonna run the game and everything is working. It's just hard to tell because we have no baseline to compare ourselves against. So let's go ahead and on our root node, we're going to attach a static body, and this is just gonna act as the floor, basically, that our character can stand on. On that static body, we're gonna attach a sprite and a collision shape. This collision shape is gonna check for collisions with the player and make sure that we aren't gonna go through them. Right here, I'm using the Godot icon sprite. You can use whatever sprite you want. This is just something that's easy to grab. Here, we're including a rectangle shape collision shape and try and get it to about the same size as the sprite, doesn't have to be perfect, whatever, that works. Finally, we need a collision shape for the player, that way they can check to see if they're colliding. This one, we're also gonna do a rectangle shape, and again, doesn't have to be perfect, just more or less the size of the player. We're gonna run the game, and it doesn't work. We can move left and right, but we are not Gravity is not being applied to us, so let's do some quick bug checking, and right here we can tell, oh, it's because we never told the game to apply gravity to us, so we just say, okay, every step, every frame, apply gravity. And bam, now it works. We can move left, we can move right, we can jump. The jumping is a little, sh a little small, so we're going to adjust the value to be a little bit higher, and you're probably going to want to do the same thing for your game. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Bye.